All right, boys, time has come. We now have the parts right here in the box to be doing the build on the MX500 Razor. So we got the, I kind of just built my own kit here from Hot Packs in order to get this thing going. I'm hoping to do about 50 miles an hour or so. Uh, but anyway, we got this. This is gonna be our far driver controller right here. It's gonna be the 72450. Now I went with the 72450 because it's gonna have a little more power and it'll be able to do what we need it to do when we do get our bigger motor. Okay, so we just went with the My 1020 Plus, the 3000 watt right now, but we're gonna try to push that as far as we can. I'm gonna do the little heat sink. I'm gonna drill it out on the other motor, the one we have right here from Kunray, and maybe we can get 50 miles an hour. That's gonna be the goal. Uh, if the gearing's right, hopefully we make it happen. Anyway, so we're gonna get everything unboxed real quick. Uh, I'm probably not gonna put the far driver on just yet until I get my battery. That'll probably be later this week. Uh, but anyway, so that's the far driver controller right there. This will be mounted. Oh, that's pretty heavy. I didn't realize they were that heavy. So that's gonna be it right there. I'm gonna go ahead and put that back in the box. I'm not gonna do anything with it just yet. All right, so we got our, it's gonna be our throttle, key switch, voltmeter, all that right here in one. Even our uh, speed switch here, our three speed switch. So we got all that there. We'll put that on, cut those other grips off. They're, they're okay, you know, they're nothing super special, but it'll get us going. That's kind of was my main deal here. Just wanting to get the bike going and get rid of the 36 volt batteries that it has. So I'm gonna do that. Right here is gonna be our thermal paste and our heat sink, which will go on the motor too, to high, you know, kind of help dissipate the heat. Uh, Cause we're gonna be making a pretty good amount of heat with this setup, the way I'm gonna be running it. So hopefully the motor holds up. I really hope so. Hopefully it does get out of the package because watch some videos and some people were having issues with this specific motor right out of the box. First time building a electric bike. Once we get the KR5V, which will be our second motor, uh, then we'll be able to push with the battery I got like close to 60 miles an hour, 70 miles an hour. So that's gonna be our goal with the next motor. All right, we'll get this thing stripped down completely now. We're gonna go ahead and use this and we're gonna get the motor off. We're gonna get it just completely stripped down. No batteries, no nothing that we will be ready to go back with all New electronics, drivetrain, you know, battery. We'll be good to go. All right, boys, we got her stripped down. I got the frame cut right there. That way we can fit our battery, our controller, all that. I'm not gonna put the controller on yet because I'm gonna wait for the battery in case I got to change some stuff around. Uh, but anyway, we got the chain there. I got a brand new chain and this new sprocket here that we are actually gonna be putting on. It's a 65 tooth, I think. Uh, yeah, I think it's 65 tooth. And then I got a front sprocket. It's gonna be a 13 to go on the new motor. So I had to go grab a couple bits now uptown and we're gonna use those to drill out the front and back plate of that motor in order to help it cool better. Um, I did see somebody do like a upgrade to where they changed the bearings too. So we may do that uh, if Amazon Prime can get me the bearings within a couple days before the battery gets here, I'll definitely go ahead and swap those out. Right now we're just gonna go ahead and swap these sprockets real quick and get that out of the way. All right, so we got everything done with the sprocket. You can see we got it on right there. And now we're kind of just waiting to get the motor, the uh, end plates drilled, and then I'm gonna go ahead and put it on. I don't wanna put it on until I drill those end plates because there'd be no point. We'd have to just pull it right back off. So I'm gonna go do that and I'll see you guys in a second. All right, boys, so you can see right here, this is gonna be the back of the My 1020 Plus. You can see just how tiny those little air holes are. I don't know how they ever expect that to be able to flow in the air. Okay, so what we're going to be doing is drilling that out. Um, I just got some pictures right here because I didn't record it because it was so tedious. It took so long to drill each and every one of those out. I just went ahead and done it off camera. Okay, I used the 732 bit if you guys would like to do that as well. And if you want to countersink the three screws that you see right there or a couple of them, you may need to countersink a couple. These were already done, but that was the My 1020 Plus. Uh, you will need a 516 bit, um, so just keep that in mind. 
Now this here is going to be the front. Obviously, same thing. Really small holes, which is a very restricting, you know, with these motors, or at least what I'm planning on doing with this motor. I need a lot of airflow. Right here, you can see the front and back of the motor. Now that it has been drilled out, make sure you clean out all of the metal shavings and make sure there's none up in your motor as well. Blow everything out good with some kind of air tool. I used the air compressor to do mine. Now, a really good thing about the little electric razors like this, you can literally work on the thing inside your house. Okay, so that's what we're gonna be doing right here. I'm gonna speed this up. It's kind of already sped up, but you get the point. I'm going to let this play and let you guys see us get to work here on this. And we're going to have some riding clips of the whole setup complete. So don't worry, you guys. We got that coming. All right, you guys, so we got a little clip right here that I want to show. Now, we're actually going to get proper riding videos, everything like that, top speed runs, all that, you guys, in the next video or in the next coming videos. We're going to be doing a lot of stuff here on this Razor build that we got going on. We're still doing a ton of stuff to this Razor. So we got a lot of content with this, okay? So be prepared. But yeah, this is a little riding clip right here that my sister took of me just kind of cruising around. My son was not liking me I'm riding the bike without him. So he's waiting on his ride to pick him up. <laughs> Cody, you better pick up your rider. I am. Come up here, my rider. <laughs> that thing is fast, man. <laughs> Look at him, he's running now. He is so ready. <laughs> Rowan! Hi, buddy! 